gum. Another daily video. Here we go. January 5th. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Happy hump day. <clears throat> I'm liking the lighting of this new setup. What do you guys think? Uh, something happened last night with both my decks. These are both decks that I keep religiously upright. Um, as in, there are no reversals. And something about how I shuffled last night got them all jumbled up. Which is really bizarre because it's never... I've never been that absent-minded with, with these particular decks. Like they're, Each deck has its own way of method of being shuffled. So this morning I just had to sort of clean them, uh, reset them, if you will. So there's one. So why don't we light a few candles? I can't believe I forgot about the candles. Um, yeah, wow, so I guess kids are not going back to school today in Chicago. This is, this is a bit of a doozy, y'all. I'm still waiting on my PCR results for the co my COVID exposure from the weekend. Um, I feel fine. Um, but you never know. And yeah, so a lot of people out there needing some some kind of support assistance um, in all all forms and manners. Um, I do think about you and hope that you have, I don't know, the resilience to, to pull through here because every, every person on this earth is needed. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're set. Let's get into the reading. Let's see what's going on for today. Um, I know sometimes these videos could get long, so you know you could um, listen to the videos at 1.5 speed. I've heard that works for some people. <clears throat> that way you get the full thing without you know, compromising too much of your time. Or do what I do and just like watch a video in the bath because I find it hard to just sit and relax. So if I choose um, like a, a tarot video or so any kind of video, honestly, to, to keep me in one place until it's over, then that's how I do it. Here we go. Nothing is yet set in stone. What do you need to release? A new start is coming. Okay. Yes, indeed. This is about taking in some sort of inventory. Um, it's almost like taking an inventory and the this need to travel lightly. That's interesting. This morning I was thinking about this thought really started last night, but I didn't really talk about this last night, so I'll talk about it now because it makes more sense. I just got back from the desert. In Polish, the word for desert is pustynia, which is like the emptiness. And yeah, deserts get a bad rap because it's almost like, yes, lots of nothing. But it's also just so full of like this quiet, resilient beauty. And it is quite green, actually, and full of colors. And I got home and immediately just had this thought that 
I've got too much stuff. And now I've always had this sort of like um, aspiring minimalist um, in me, but I guess I, I just came back with like a, a refreshed perspective on what it is that I actually need that's, that's in my possession that I can, you know, release. Because the message today sounds like it's, it's really saying nothing is yet set in stone. The direction of your life and what happen, what can happen next really depends on how lightly you're not treading, like how lightly you're packed. You know, you pack less, you can go further distance and, and be less tired at the, at the other end. Um, if we talk about like aerodynamics, um, a large pack is less aerodynamic and therefore a little bit more turbulent when you try to like go through the, the vortex. Either way, a new start is coming. So really consider carefully what it is you're taking with you and what you're ready to leave in the past. I like that. Let's bring some more of this. <sighs> Nothing is yet set in stone. New moon. We just we just uh, passed a full moon on Sunday, which was the second, I believe. I don't know what days are anymore. It was on the second, whenever that was. And um, some of the astrologers that I listen to online um, have let us know that for those of you who do moon rituals, like the second, the day of the new moon was not actually the best day for any sort of moon ritual if you do that. But actually, in fact, it is the 6th. Um, tomorrow is a good day for that. And so a new moon ritual that I like to do, I'll share with you really quickly, is I prepare a bath of herbs that I cook on the stovetop. I do this, I prep everything the night before, but I do this, um, this bath mixture in the morning, like before sunrise. So it'll be, let's say, around 6.30 or so in the morning in the Northern Hemisphere, and um, what goes in there? It's uh, rose water, Florida water, rue, which is an herb, um, uh, bay leaves. Anyway, so you mix all this stuff up, a little bit of salt. You can, uh, you can take this into the bath with you and sort of, it smells really freaking good. Um, and afterwards your, your whole, you feel so, just like so, um, perfumed and, and sort of like anointed a little bit. And the purpose of the bath is to wash yourself with the intention of washing away the things that no longer serve you. And so you take each one of the bay leaves, you put the, as you find them in the pot that you've cooked up, you put one and you press it to your, uh, your heart. And you say, I release all the baggage. Okay, then you take one and you put it on your third eye. Okay, and now you release any any uh, thoughts or notions that are no longer serving you. And then you put one on your crown. And I forget what the crown one is. But, you know, the idea is there. All you all you need is really the intention of, of this. Um, and the reason you do it first thing in the morning is that it's quiet. You don't you know, silence, silence charges the spell, if you will, and so you can do this tomorrow morning, if you see this, if you want to wake up early and have the time to just take a quick little bath, do something nice and smelly, like a good smelly for you, because this is saying, what do you need to release, like be honest with yourself here, a new start is coming. So you can prepare yourself for that. Releasing any baggage and or decluttering um, This is a process that's going to take time for a lot of folks. But there's a lot of people who are doing this now. So I'll, I'll just say that. And this is going to be a big, big year for 
for this, for this sort of awakening. Here we go. Magician underneath. This is about manifesting. Page of Wands. Yep. There's the potential here. Summer, Strength, Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Interesting. So, I do see. So, if the overall energy of this is the magician, right? This idea to manifest something either bigger, better you know, manifesting some sort of potential that you can see. Um, the thing then that needs to be released is some sort of held belief that is keeping you sort of busy or um, occupied or fearful. It's almost like that it's like you're hol you're the only one holding yourself back. There is the 9 of wands again and the 7 of pentacles which showed up yesterday as well, but this is like It's like I spent so much time and effort on this. Why is this so difficult? I'm confused. I don't think you realize how close you actually are to the thing that you're trying to manifest. See how the this this he has a lemniscate? The magician has a lemniscate above him. You can't see it. I'm sorry. So does strength. Strength is about compassion for oneself in the face of fear. That's what strength really is. So It's almost like the idea of your own potential is scaring you and you are holding, something is holding you back <clears throat> because there's confusion around something here from the past. Maybe this is confusion around, well, this has worked for me in the past. Why isn't this working now? Like. We have to remember that what, what got you here will not get you where you're going right that which has worked for me t that that which has gotten you here and now will not get you to where you're going next you have to be you know like this first card is saying nothing is set in stone mutable the mutable qualities of a thing are that we can change we can choose to change our approach at any time the Page of Wands, remember the message of the Page of Wands? Uh, ground, the, ground your ideas for, and potential in reality, as in build the bridge between the um, idea and the passion, the potential which must be manifested, right? What did they say? It's like um, our dreams are like... 75% fantasy and 25% reality I'm making this up right now but just to give you an idea of um, a rough uh, recipe for manifesting is our the way we think about things and the way we feel about things like our, our fantasies our desires are real are real things that point us toward the thing that 
the direction that we want to go in. So it's not worth ignoring that at the same time. There needs to be that like 25% reality as in look at actually what's happening around you and see how you can build the bridge between those things. So <clears throat> <clears throat> I see a couple of things here because there's again, get we got the sun, sorry, um, summer and strength that's double I think that's double Leo energy. I think, you know, I'm going to take this summer as, as some hot Leo <laughs> energy. Um, this is about, um, so Leo is about the heart space, right? And there might be a moment of realizing something like some held belief around your heart or how you carry your heart um, in a way that has kept you safe but now is no longer serving you. So having this wisdom now of this need to sort of, um, how do you say it, you know, like persevere, overcome this method, this this, this method of like investing or showing up for yourself, protecting yourself, you can take a break now from this, this kind of protecting oneself. It is about being vulnerable in order to release something. It is about, th there's a level of vulnerability that is unavoidable here if you decide to you know, shed some things before this new beginning. So it might feel confusing as in not being exactly sure what to do with oneself next, like what direction to go in. And so I do think that this is a feel your way through it again. I've, we've gotten this message before the think less, feel more. There's a reason that there aren't any swords on the table and yet the magician has a sword. The magician has all that he needs to manifest, to bring about the change that is desired. Let's do some clarifications. All right. How about the magician? Ten of Cups, yep. Knight of Cups, King of Swords, oh! So, this is exactly what I'm thinking is that this is about, remember it's some sort of realiz realizing how you're carrying your heart space? I have the Ten of Cups here. This is about emotion, some sort of emotional fulfillment. This could be like, you know, your dream partner, your dream career, your dream, like anything that, any sort of situation that really makes you feel like you're in the right place. This is about family. This is about our communities. So somebody here is realizing the ten, what their 10 of cups is and now is starting to make movement based on this feeling. Um, and while the Knight of Cups is not the fastest moving energy, the King of Swords is here to say that this is, um, doesn't matter how long it takes, this is sort of the, the chosen route here. The King of Swords, huh? The ultimate discerning force, symbol of truth and honesty, can be a little cold, but I'm not reading that as much. Just that this is, it's interesting how the King of Swords almost feels like this protective force for this Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's almost like while the heart space is opening itself up and starting to like um, release stagnation, the King of Swords comes in and is really wanting to 
keep the mind aligned, as in not let monkey mind or our thoughts, our negative thoughts, sort of muck up this new found um, direction for um, tor towards the Ten of Cups, this thing that wants to be created. He's holding, he's, he's allowing us to hold this longer than maybe normally in the past we, we could have because of, of other fears. Yeah, the King of Swords, sort of like a, a warrior energy. I'm getting like survivor energy. And the, the Six of Wands just showed up. So this is about some, some sort of success. Some victory. think that this is a this is a positive route like other people will be able to see that you've chosen this new this new path for yourself I think you'll be rewarded for it rewarded you know acknowledged whatever for carrying this truth it sounds like yeah carrying your heart on your sleeve almost but I don't think that that's like a really a fair statement like to what it like what we think it means when people wear their heart on their sleeve it means that like oh you're just sort of like willing to give away your energy very easily you like um in some sort of like easy or sleazy way you know like you get hurt very easily because you just you, you know it's all loose at the same time, the way that I feel about that statement when I said it was that you are so, I, I think of it more as this way, you are so firm in what you believe and how you feel about your situation, what's going on with you and where you're headed, that it does, it, it does not even bother you or deter you to say this is this is me, this is where I'm going, this is my truth. That is sort of hard on your sleeve because you're being very open about your intentions here. You're not closing yourself off. You're also not closing off your positive, radiant energy from others. Instead, you're sort of just more so embracing your life purpose, your direction, and saying, I'm going to let I'm going to let myself radiate this energy because it will benefit others as well. You know, it'll help um, others see that they can also um, find the, their, their personal power or this direction for themselves. It's almost like you're carrying the wisdom because you've been closed off for so long. And by finding your own path to acknowledging your Ten of Cups, that this is what you want, that this is something you, des you believe that you deserve, and taking, regardless of the hastiness, you know, this might take a while, you're still committed to that. And I think that's what people will celebrate because they'll see it and they'll, they'll say, well, maybe not, you know, this is how we create sort of like positive ripple effects in our community. Okay. Is leading by example here, sort of what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, let's see the uh, page of wands. Mm -hmm. This is. Hmm the six of pentacles so interesting um, somebody might come with an offer I guess nothing is yet set in stone there if you're if you're saying um, huh. If you are vocal about this new direction that you're trying to manifest, this direction that you're going in, you're releasing things, you're making room for something new to come in, it's coming in. 
there's a six of pentacles here which is about reciprocity but like if you're doing the work the universe returns that to us in um not necessarily the way that we always expect it to but the ener energy and karma is working here is what i see let's look at summer nothing is yet set in stone hmm. there's the nine of cups make a wish wish fulfillment So in the summer card, it is about being connected to sort of life essence. In the summer, everything is alive. The bees are the bees and the birds are flying around, and life is everywhere. You know, the the trees are blooming. But it's also a message of when it gets too hot to take shade in, in the sun, as in from the sun, in the trees, as in to. Um, <clears throat> When it all becomes too much, or you need to take a break, or something just isn't working quite as, um, in a way that it that is working for you, you can, you can opt out. You can take you can you can take a step back, and get more into this, again this nine of cups energy, which is like wishing. You know, wishing yourself in a different situation. <clears throat> wishing for. You know, maybe waiting for like another sign as to where to go next this is about this really feels to me like somebody is tapped into spirit here because they're acknowledging some sort of <clears throat> internal power some internal direction some guidance that's happening you're receiving a gift from the universe you are using using and, and communicating with spirit here to uh, manifest your your dream something that which you want let's see strength the fool yeah it does take some strength some compassion to see things new like as if you are a new person and look there's that sun again this is about choosing a, a more optimistic point of view sure the fool can be naive but look this is right under a new start is coming we have to accept that there is a certain level of newness you don't have to fear making the same mistakes twice because i think you will you will see it i think that there is there's actually something here that is cracking open is how I feel um, and so there when something breaks or is cracked open it's almost like it break in my mind I'm seeing something that breaks into so many pieces that it can't be put back together like it's never gonna be the same again so like how can you fear making the same mistake let's see um, the four of Pentacles three of cups hmm I'll keep going and I'll come back to that in a sec. Um, two of. Oh, sorry, not two of. Uh, the High Priestess. Four of Wands. Oi, oi, oi. Seven of Pentacles. Eight. Oh, look at that. Seven, eight. I'll just go to the end here. I'm trying to make these videos shorter for y'all, so I know it's already 30 minute mark, but... If you want a full bomb reading, like an hour long, you can just contact me and I'll do a reading for you. About any anything specific that you, that you like or a, a general read. Honestly, the more specific the better, but... General reads work too. Here we go. Seven of Cups. Ah, there's the King of Cups again. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <sighs> so 
so <clears throat> going back to the narrative from earlier, right? Like whatever was hap however you were carrying your heart before, it was not on your sleeve. It has been protected for a very long time. It might have something to do with a third party. Third party is a term used in tarot that doesn't describe necessarily lying or cheating or, or whatever, but just like the energy of something getting in the way. It could even be a job. It could be an addiction. It could be literally anything. It's this outside force that has prevented you from being able to open up to someone or has prevented you from being honest with yourself about your situation. I do believe this is the thing that is being released because what really wants to come in and the thing that you know is coming for you is this four of wands, this higher level of commitment. And so the seven of pentacles was clarified by the eight of pentacles. It's almost like you don't, you're, it's, it's oscillating between doing the work and planting the seeds. Um, this is about learning how to, oh man. You know, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles down here. So this is about, this is, this has been a process and I don't know how long of a process it's been. Maybe the last two years, honestly, two to four years or months, two to four months, two to four years of like planting seeds, wanting for something to change, working on um, a project of your own own or on your you know you're working on yourself as a project or working on a particular project um, that maybe has felt like um, this is this is all about like time and money investment into something and just as you're reaching a, a potential burnout stage or this the stage where you're like I don't know how much longer I can do this the Knight of Pentacles energy comes in to, to sort of support the um, just do what you can today, right? So there maybe there was like this really intense effort early on and now there is, um, it's sort of like if it was boiling before, it's reduced now to a simmer. And now this is something that has become a, a stable change in your life, okay? That's how, that's how this Per, this is how you're persevering is that actually your routines your day-to-day -day looks and feels just a little bit different than what it used to two to four years ago I would hope that's ho that's true for for nearly anybody but there's confusion here there's there there's confusion because despite this personal progress the thing that really needs to be addressed is this thing needing to be released so you've this is about making space for something new to come in um, instead of being in the energy of this is tiresome and I'm not really sure what's going on. Like, I'm not sure where, you know, if you've put in a lot of effort, time and effort into something that hasn't necessarily or obviously led to this 10 of pentacles, sorry, 10 of cups, because this is, this is what's going on right now is like somebody is feeling is is understanding more about themselves in a very in a more authentic manner and is taking steps through feeling their way forward they're manifesting something based on their true feelings or taking action based on their true feelings and that that can be tiresome but instead of looking at this from a how much longer is this going to take and i'm confused that just be, because i've been 
truer why am I not receiving the rest you know why isn't this being reciprocated I think you're looking for it in the wrong place um, well look at that we got two sixes here <laughs> give me a sec <clears throat> because um, This confusion is something having to do with the past. <clears throat> if you're holding on to some sort of past cycle, remember about how you've held your heart or like um, operated your, you know, if you've repressed things from the past, that is how you're going to hurt yourself by being confused and um, tiring yourself out from any sort of progress. You have to remember that your th this work that you did now has changed your day to day. Your feelings have changed, like you're maybe in a more stable place. And this thing that wants to show up that <clears throat> either has to do with the past or is nostalgic of the past. Maybe there's a situation. This happened to me recently. I was like sitting at a bar. This was in Texas. I was getting lunch. It was not a bar, but it was yeah. anyway. Something about the mixture of like the one Paloma that I had <laughs> and you know the quality of the air and the quality of the light <clears throat> and like just the very slight level of buzz that I was like totally made me time travel back like at least 10 years and I was like whoa what a what a weird feeling <laughs> like where when am I so it's sort of like that it's almost like you have you've progressed so far you are in the here and now and you're in a better place but something there's like there's like the time traveling emotion something brings you back um, to a, a time or a place and it could be a person or just like I said being triggered by like certain smells or seeing you know, certain symbol or whatever. It's it's not meant to confuse you. It's actually just meant to show you how much you've grown, really. Because the Ace of Cups is here, this like full cup. And even the Six of Cups is like this beautiful offering of this cup with some flowers in it. That is the energy to embrace right now. This is the heart on the sleeve. This is the, I am openly willing to give and receive love um, in a way that doesn't take away from the love that I have for myself, okay? That is, that is called an energy exchange. When we are so um, grounded, when we know how to create happiness for ourselves, um, we then this is sort of what like like i imagine light workers um do and like empaths ca are capable of because empaths can sense the feelings of other people is to offer some sort of strength or support and or um to provide a literal um energy exchange to to support other people to support the collective. It does not diminish in any way, shape, or form or take away from your your happiness, the amount of love you have for yourself to do this kind of thing, to do this kind of work. In fact, I believe it's what's needed. So that's that by knowing how to um, replenish your own energy like creating happiness for yourself looks like knowing when to take shelter from the sun knowing when to show up for yourself create routines and patterns that really support your your dreams your desires the kind of life you want to have like when you know that balance for yourself and um 
you're in a stable place emotionally, as in knowing when to um, share your feelings, you know, be open versus um, more reserved, you know, to regenerate for yourself. That is dispelling confusion and burnout once you have those skills, okay? And so maybe, maybe the thing to release here is the idea of confusion and it's time to, um, let's see here. What do you, nothing is yet set in stone. What do you need to release and a new start is coming? Okay, so I'll, I'll end it on this because we're again at the 40 minute mark and I'm like, damn, cannot, it's so hard to make these um, videos short, but now I know why the tarot readers have like, they read to a certain point and then they'll like on, on YouTube and then they'll do extended videos behind some kind of paywall. Here you get the full thing, you get the full thing. <clears throat> Before I say anything else, let's just pull five cards. This is... Um, I like this sort of like uh, change spread, five, uh, just five cards, final messages from the universe about what, what some advice here is. The Hermit, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Ten of <coughs> Pentacles. So action to support transition is the hermit. So the hermit is guided by his own, there's, he's carrying this lantern with a star in it. The star is his personal guiding light. So it is our, our this is, um, this is sort of can be seen like, how do we personally connect to the universe? How do we connect to things, the thing that feels bigger than us and it's a deeply personal thing for every person for every for every different different individual so your journey is unique to you this is the action to support transition okay recognize that you are on your own path um, the hermit is also not very loud as in this is work that is happening underneath this is something that's happening internally the message of the hermit eventually becomes taking what you've learned to share it with others because unless we um, unless we <laughs> if we never share our the things that we learn like our own personal gifts with the world we don't become agents of change okay and we all can be and have immense power to be agents of change Um, so what was it? Action to ease transition, the support, the Queen of Cups. And I love the Queen of Cups has this cup that is also on the, the symbol that is also on the High Priestess, this moon phase symbol. Here you can see it pretty well. <clears throat> so the support, the supporting energy right now is um, this connection this, this might be a very auspicious time to connect to your own feelings. There's maybe like a, a deeper connection to your intuition that's available to you now. If you take this time to um, quiet the mind. The, remember I said the hermit is quiet. So this could be a time of deep reflection and meditation and getting in touch with your feelings. This is the supportive energy. <clears throat> Also, just just noticing that this this card will it work? No, man. Okay, so but th this is like this ocean here. This is all water. So when we talk about elementals and uh, the w water is really um, is our emotions, right? That's 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 the cups. And then what do you need to release here? Is like this winter escape, frozen water. Okay, and then we had so much sun here. It's like 
positivity, radiance, love will melt this hardened, you know, water, you know, molecules, like this ice and snow will melt to this rushing water. And so now we have to like sort of direct this water. Water is adaptive and, and it can flow. In the face of change, we say be like water. But when there's <clears throat> an excess of water, we do need, there is time needed in order to sort of like, um, understand why it's there. Like maybe things are welling up inside that are, um, this is why you need 10 cups to <laughs> catch all the water, right? Um, and that's why the Ace of Cups is here. We got so many cups here. The King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven, Six, um, damn near all of them, honestly. And yet there's no swords on the table. Absolutely none, except for the King of Swords, the highest of the sword. <clears throat> It's almost like someone here has mastered the mind or is no longer letting their mind control their heart. The heart needs to be heard, okay? Our feelings about a situation need to be honored. Feel the, feel, the way that we feel needs to be honored. <clears throat> anyway, let's move on. Um, something to let go of is... the five of pentacles which is the this is like the opposite of the magician energy something to let go of it's the idea of scarcity um, um, poverty like just feeling like you don't have what you need to move forward feeling alone in your desire to move forward or to create some sort of change in your life you're not alone that's what you need to release here moving forward is you know, you could say some positive mantras for yourself, like, I have everything I need, I have the support, I am, I am loved and I am supported in whichever direction I choose to move into. Um, so let's see, there was action to ease transition, support, something to let go of. Oh my, I'm going to pause because I, I need to figure out what, what this next one is. Okay, and we're back. Okay. The next one is what you will gain from this change. And so this is the Eight of Cups. This is about a very um, emotionally intense solo journey. This card is saying you only you alone know how difficult the path is. It just It's just indicative of like, this is, again... A deeply personal thing to you like sure not everyone's gonna understand what it is you're going through but I do believe that you that that doing this work will manifest somehow externally and others will like, will recognize this within you your your personal power even when you may not see or feel it yourself And then the final one is this higher guidance, the Ten of Cups. I mean, sorry, Ten of Pentacles. It's your destiny. It's your legacy. It's almost like your the life you've always imagined is just on the other side of this this door. If you could just um, figure out how to open it, this is it's not even a door. It's like floodgates, honestly. Um, this is a very last night the the card came out like the the super moon card came out which is like emotions are running high this is for sure that this is for sure that i think this is almost like a breaking point but it's all it's such a beautiful it's such a beautiful release i think um because you're releasing yourself from feeling uh really that you have to hold on to all of this pain that you have to hold on to and repress anything that you've been feeling about your current situation or something this is about living life more authentically so that you can have more 
um, energetic, authentic energetic exchanges with, with people. Um, okay. <laughs> and that's what I got because now we're at 50 minutes, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this read. Pop a comment below if you made it through. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.